Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanath Nari. The channel fully focused on the biostatistics data analysis and data visualization related on video post on the channel. If you like the channel video, click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership. Let's go to the video. Now we are the discussion topic generalized linear model GLM in how to analyze the generalized linear model in past statistical software so the first uh, explanation of the generalized linear model the definition of the glm a generalized li linear model glm is a flexible generalization of the ordinary linear regressions that allow for the response variable to have a distributions other than a normal distributions glms are used for the modeling the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variable but uh, the past statistical software support for the one or two independent variable only and the glms concerned for the three components so the random component one and second for the systematic component and third one for linked functions but the past statistical software the only the two components supported only for the random component and linked functions so the random component the specific the probability distributions of the response variable the normal gamma binomial and poison so the systematic component a linear predictor which is a linear combination of the independent variable and link functions a functions the connects the linear predictor to the mean of distributions functions example the identity reciprocal and log logistic so the compound of the generalized linear model the random compound identity identify the distributions of the response variable y so the four type of the distributions include in the past statistical software the view on the image in the left side so the distribution for the four type the nominal gamma binomial and poisons so the distribution include in the nominal distributions for the continuous data and the common distributions for gamma distributions for passively shocked the continuous data so the binomial distributions for the binary or proportions data the poisons distributions for the count the data so the compound of the glms in the systematic compound the linear predictor eta is a linear combinations of independent variable predictor the eta is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 the end the beta b x b where the beta 0 is a intercept and the beta 1 beta 2 beta p are the coefficients of the predictor x1 x2 xp so the li link functions of the connect in the linear predictor eta to the mean mu of the distributions functions so the link functions is a four type including the past statistical software the view on the image the generalized linear model analysis output window for the link functions in past statistical software so the identified principal log and logistic the identity link for the normal, normal distributions and the principal like the proportional distributions and logistic link for the binomial distributions and log link for the poisons distributions. So the application in the biological science for the generalized linear model. So the B species distributions modeling, the understanding the relationship between the species presence or absence and environmental factors. Use a logistic regressions, a type of generalized linear model to model the presence of the species as a functions of the temperature, precipitation, and the soil type. The population ecology, the model the count of individuals in populations, the use of the poison, the regressions, another type of the GLM to the model the number of individuals in a given area based on the factors like habited by the type and the food availability so the epidemiology in glm 
Study in the accuracy and the separated of the disease. Use a binomial generalized linear model to the model the probability of disease presence based on export to the risk factor. The genetic to understand the relationship between the genetic trade and predators. Use a logistic regression to model to presence of the genetic trade based on genetic marker and environmental factors. So now the analyst for the generalized linear model in past statistical software used data set for the species distributions modeling. So the open the past statistical software. Okay, now the enter the data. So the already I saved the generalized linear model data. So the click to the file and open. Select to the generalized linear model species count data. So the totally the we take the 25 different site and the take the two independent variable and one dependent variable. So the temperature precipitants that those are the two independent variable and the species can count for the dependent variable. So the select the column, click to the select button. So the select the all the data, go to the model and select to the generalized linear model in past statistical software. So this is for the diagram in the generalized linear model. The distributions of four type, the nominal gamma binomial and poisons your da our data for suitable for the nominal and link functions for the id identity the y is equal to minus 11.378 x plus 490.4 so the click to the label options the label options the label present to the 25 side in the blue color so generalized linear for the lines in the red color and the x is present for the temperature and y is present for the precipitation the mm unit so the next one tab for the statistics so this is for the statistics the table the generalized linear model the normal distributions are the idt link the precision the estimated value 461.83 and slope value minus 11 dot 378 the slope standard error value 2.2865 and interconcept the value 490.4 and standard error of the interconcept for 49.119 so the deviance the value 10622 and log likelihood value minus 11.5 and g test value 24.761 the slope is equal to 0, the p value less than 0 0.001. Okay, go to the plant and select the graph setting. Open the new tab for the graph properties. So, the label of the graph temperature and y axis label for the precipitants. So, the change to the font options for our suitable publication journal and the font size also change options. So select for the thick line, the thick line red color for the mention to the thick color and the save options for the JPG and click to the save as button save for our generalized linear model file and the graph interpretation and statistics the tabular explanations I will upload the next one video sections that video link mentioned to the description box. If you any doubt on this video, leave me the comment in the comment box. I will help you. And if you like this video, click to the subscription button and support to me. Join to our channel membership. Thank you for watching this video.